1948 rings a bell? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. It was in the last century, Grandma and Grandpa's generation. Legend has it that there were still dinosaurs hiding in caves up in the mountains. But that is something we're really not sure of at all. Back then, everyone was recovering from the Second World War and its 70 million dead, the most devastating conflict in human history. So in 1948, to make sure such atrocities would not happen again, the search for shared values began. Why? Have people unite around a strong symbol, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. What is less known is that it was adopted by the UN General Assembly and has become the most translated text on Earth. But what are human rights? The rights you are entitled to simply because you are a human being. In other words, everyone benefits from them from birth, without exception or distinction. The idea behind it is that these rights are like needs. They are absolutely necessary to live well. Without them, it would be the law of the jungle, and you'd risk being beheaded if your government didn't like your Facebook status. In the Declaration's 30 articles, there are the civil and political liberties, such as the right to life, the right to vote, freedom of expression, or the prohibition of slavery and torture. Rights are interdependent, indivisible, and interrelated. This means that if a right is not respected, a series of other rights won't be either. If you are homeless, you live in the streets, so you can't sleep, you get sick, you don't go to school, and won't find a job. Violation of the right to adequate housing triggers the violation of the right to rest, the right to education, the right to work, etc. These are economic, social and cultural rights. OK, so a great text was agreed upon, but who does what? Well, on paper, the state's mission is to take the necessary measures for the declaration to be respected. But in reality, <coughs> there are some very bad students. The declaration is not a legislative text, it's an ideal. Its name says it all. It is a declaration. Therefore, it is not valid in a court of law. But most states have integrated human rights in their constitution, and therefore, they must guarantee them. You can defend human rights only if you know them. Everybody's role is to ensure they are respected. Collective conscience means that each and every person is responsible for everybody else's well-being. Therefore, we can all get involved, protest against injustices, and make the universal rights ideals succeed.